Hello, welcome. Um, another tutorial. Today, what we're going to be doing is rendering in 3D. I know Blender 3D, but like on the old, on the older versions of Blender, how to the uh, red and cayenne. That's the only thing I think you can do in 3D on here. This is a no scripts required tutorial too. All it basically is is two cameras and a compositor. So let's get this part started. Um. First of all, I'd like to show off something I just made. Pretty epic. Pretty cheesy, too. If you want to go the extra mile and do this, feel free to. So, this is my like custom made 3D camera. Yep. They don't work, though, because it's not been composited. <laughs> Alright, well, back on, back on subject. Um. We're going to go and put both these layers together. I don't know why I've done it. Let me move my mic right quick so I can get over here to my keyboard. Alright, so let's do RZ90 and Shift D Y. Alright, let's go back to layer 2 just so we can see what we got going on here. Add a Q. I actually started this off on my Huey Cobra I made, but it was messing up so bad. Oh, and by the way, if you want this, if you want this to work, you have to have your scene already set up. It will not change. I don't know how to get it to change, but it will not work. So Control P, parentheses to this. I'm gonna try something right quick, you know, because we got time to kill on this tutorial. Let me pause it though. Alright, it was worth a try, but it didn't work. Alright, I'm confusing myself here. Um, let's go back to our main scene. And RY90 on the Q. Make sure you do only the Q control. Pull this out here. And let's go into this. And that's kind of what it looks like. So, right here, we're going to name this. Alright, hold on. Let me go to top. Okay, this is the right eye. Alright, and then this one is your left. So, set that up. And now, what we're going to do is. So this is your right eye, we're going to add a new scene, and we're going to link objects, and we're going to say, uh, right eye, no, that's my bad, for lack of reason, um, so, then we're going to select this one, we're going to link object data, and we'll do left eye, so, then we go back to right eye, and select right eye, and then, you switch it, you can see if you go to different scenes, I go to the right eye when you're on the right eye scene, and the left eye on the left eye scene. So now that that's done, and what you want to do is go to the compositing. Alright, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to render this out right quick, so we can see what we're working with. Enough light, and we're going to use the backdrop, and we're going to hit that 12 again. Alright, so we're going to disconnect it from the compositor. As of right now, and then we're going to add another render layer. So input render layer, and make this one doesn't matter really which one you do, and then this one needs to be left. So uh, we got a right eye and a left eye. You're gonna add. We're gonna go ahead and do a viewer just for right now. I'm do the same for this. Um, go ahead and add a converter separate RGBA and move it to the center and the same thing over here separate RGBA and then we're going to make this one be selected and we're going to hit add converter combine RBGA RGBA whatever it is pull the red over here and just like on 2.49 we're going to move the G and the B over here so, and then we're going to connect this to the compositor. And, let's see. Might as well add a viewer. Hold on, add a viewer. Nah, that's good enough. 
Now if we try to render this out, let's see if it works. Alright, so my eyes are so I'm not right here. But you can see it's trying its hardest. Pull this eye out a little bit and now let's render it. And this should work. Hmm. Let's disconnect the viewer to see if that has a problem with it. It worked fine when I was doing it with my other one. Make sure it's on the scene. 8 of 12, hopefully we can get this to work, if not I have to pause it and come back to it. Yeah, I'll be back. Oh, okay, I figured out what the problem was. What you want to do is you have to make sure the left eye is on the top and the right eye is on the bottom. If not, it will not work, if you just saw. So, if you go get your little glass thing, glasses and put them on, that's what the scene will look like. It's really cool. Because you can use it on YouTube, even though it's a little outdated on technology there. You can still use it on YouTube, so I can make the animation and then render it out. So, we can go back to default, where we can see the biggest screen render, and you can go into the camera view and hit F12. Well, you ain't got to go to camera view. So, yeah, my bad. There we go. Um, so, it has to be left on top. Right on bottom, and we're pretty much done. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. Whenever I find out how to do this in the game engine, I'll put a tutorial up on that because I don't. I didn't even really use the game engine as of right now. Please note to self: you must have your scene that completely done, and I think probably yeah, and completely animated. And uh, yeah, thank you. Comment, rate, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, check out my website, and thanks for watching.